Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to jailbreak the iPhone 3GS, 4, and 4S all on iOS 5.1.1. Okay, now before you begin, you need to be on iOS version 5.1.1. To check, you can go to settings, click on general, then click on about, and scroll down to version, and you should see 5.1.1. If there's anything lower than that, you need to update your device to 5.1.1 by plugging it into your computer, opening iTunes, uh, and clicking on the update button underneath your iPhone's picture under version. Um, under devices uh, when you click on your iPhone. If it's a version higher than that, um, which at the time of doing this video, that is the highest version, um, but as time goes on, there will be new versions. If you have a version that's higher than this, you'll have to go to our how-to section, click on iPhone how-to, uh, and then search for your device and for the how-to to jailbreak that version. This will only work on 5.1.1. Okay, after your iPhone is on 5.1.1, now we can begin the jailbreak process. Basically, you're going to download the Absinthe jailbreaking program for your specific computer's operating system. Um, so Windows for Windows, Mac for Mac, and Linux for Linux. So I'm using a Mac here, so I'm gonna click on that. And I'm going to click download. and save it to your computer. Okay, once you've downloaded the program, um, whether it's an exe for Windows, a .dmg for Mac, or a .tar.bz2 for Linux, um, you're going to click on it, or double click on it, to open it. Okay, and then we're going to click the Absinthe program inside. Once the program opens up, we're gonna plug in our device via USB. And wait for it to detect the device. If iTunes does open up, like mine just did, just close it. And next, click the jailbreak button. It's going to do its thing. Um, just to warn you, this can take quite some time uh, and it's longer depending on how much data you have on your iPhone, simply because it uses the backing up and restoring uh, exploit that they have uh, in order for it to do the jailbreak. So the more data you have, the longer it's gonna take for it to back up and restore. Um, so be patient, wait for it to finish. Okay, and once it finishes, before you unplug the device, um, check the home screen to see if you have the Cydia icon like we do here, the brown icon there. If you do, that means that the jailbreak worked and you're all set. You can then unplug your device uh, and begin to use your new jailbroken uh, iPhone. Enjoy. 